special meaning to all airmen, especially those who are transitioning from civilians to warrior airmen of character. Today's graduates make up these heritage flights and will continue to shape our Air Force. And now I'd like to take a moment to inform you on specific flight, flight locations on the parade field. As viewed from the bleachers, from your left to your right, the first two heritage flights to pass in review today are from the 324th Training Squadron, Duprat Waldo and Harlow Flight. Next are Kissling, Peterson, Finch, and Smith Flight from the 331st Training Squadron, followed by Airy Flight from the 322nd Training Squadron. In the center of the parade field is the 737th Training Group's Drum and Bugle Corps from the 321st Training Squad. The flight selected to carry our national, state, and territorial flags is from the 321st Training Squad. Binnaker Flight. Next are Wright, Barnes, and Gaylor Flight from the 322nd Training Squad. The last four flights to pass in review today are from the 320th Training Squad. McCoy, Andrews, Parrish, and Sinkton Flight. At this time, please find a place to sit. Thank you and enjoy today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of our official party. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Sneed. Hey. <clears throat> Mr. Captain, I invite you to pray with me. Almighty God, we thank you for this joyful occasion that brings us together as airmen, leaders, families, and friends. We celebrate on this special day of achievement, and we ask for your blessing on these young men and women who have tirelessly worked many difficult weeks and have given so much of themselves to arrive at this moment. They did not arrive here today on their own. We thank you for their families and the sacrifices they made to make this day possible. We ask your blessings on their families, the leaders, and instructors who have dedicated their time and talents to train and prepare them to lead. We ask your protection and guidance on the lives of these airmen. May they lead and serve with truth and remain steadfast in protecting the freedoms of our great nation. We pray they will always bring honor to the Air Force, to their families, and to themselves. We ask all these things in your mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's basic military training graduation parade. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the host for today's ceremony. The commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel Jason Carruthers. The Superintendent, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Lee Hoover. From the 37th Training Wing, the Commander, 37th Training Wing, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel Jason Gennaro. Also in attendance with us today, the Commander, 403rd Wing, Keesler Air Force Base, Mississippi, Colonel Jenny Johnson. The Vice Commander, 403rd Wing, Colonel Robert Stanton. The Command Chief, 2nd Air Force, Keesler Air Force Base, Mississippi, Chief Master Sergeant Joanna Bass. The Command Chief, Master Sergeant of the 50th Space Wing, Shriver Air Force Base, Colorado, Chief Master Sergeant Boston Alexander. Although time does not permit us to introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 37th Training Wing is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Colonel Carruthers and Chief Master Sergeant Hoover will make a special awards presentation. From the 737th Training Support Squadron, Master Sergeant Solomon Rigsby.
From the 737th Training Group, Master Sergeant Kevin Garces. From the 737 Training Group, Technical Sergeant Ruby Ann Asado.
retrieve the nation's treasure to make them better, to make them more lethal, and to make them more ready. And to certainly to plow and put for themselves into those military training instructors called to do the same. And that's done with hustle, though. So you have to understand, when I talk about hustle, I'm talking about good old-fashioned just work ethic. That is getting after it every single day. That means sacrificing. When you want to be at home, need to be at home, but you also know that there is work to be done. These folks bring that hustle every single day. But if you're going to do that, if you're going to pour yourselves into military training instructors, in the knucklehead commanders like the one before you today, and into our trainees, into the training of our nation, you have to be out with a humble heart. One of the character traits that means the most to me is humility. Because be wary of the person who thinks they're fully baked because they absolutely aren't. Every single one of us can be better tomorrow. Every single one of us should desire to do that. And in the pursuit of perfection, we just might catch excellence. And this Super 6 have done that. And so I want to take a moment just to celebrate the Blue Rope Corps and these six new additions to the Blue Rope Corps. Because I tell you true that while the very best that we get to celebrate our MTIs, I tell you what, their Kung Fu is strong. But as a guy who used to watch Kung Fu Theater on Sunday mornings, I will tell you that as strong as their Kung Fu is, the Blue Ropes are the ninjas of our military training instructor corps, and I couldn't be more proud to serve alongside them and to celebrate this six here today. Please join me in giving them a well-earned round of applause. Thank you, Colonel Carruthers. The airmen who will pass their review today have completed a demanding eight and a half week program to provide Air Force units throughout the world with trained airmen. Part of this training includes the time problem concepts of military customs and tradition, of which this parade is a vital part. All graduating airmen will also march over the enlisted heroes walk. They will lead the way for thousands of airmen that will follow, all reflecting on our enlisted heritage, tradition of honor, and our legacy of valor. Our commander of airmen is Technical Sergeant Roslyn Evans, Military Drill and Ceremonies NCO, 319th Training Squadron. Colonel Carruthers will review today's ceremony.
ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of our national anthem.
States Air Force, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas. Subject, Commander's Excellent Streamer. The Commander's Excellent Streamer is awarded to the 322nd Training Squad, Flight 127, for their significant accomplishments, demonstrating teamwork, excellence, and esprit de corps during the period of 3 December 2018 through 25 January 19. Signed, Jason Carruthers, Colonel, United States Air Force.
Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating airmen passing in review today represent a portion of the 40,000 recruits who will complete basic military training this year. The 737th Training Group provides all recruits the essential military training to become motivated members of the enlisted corps of the greatest Air Force in the world. The military training instructors are responsible for the indoctrination, development, and discipline of the airmen. They have dedicated endless hours to ensure all training objectives are met. Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Air Force. The flights you will view today are a representation of the enlisted force. Each flight represents an enlisted member of the Air Force who has embodied our core values and contributed to its heritage. As our graduates turn left onto the bomb run to pass in review, they will march over the enlisted heroes walk. The airmen recognized on the favors have been awarded our nation's highest honor, representing heroic and unselfish acts as members of the United States Air Force in armed conflict, including present-day operations in Afghanistan. They include eight Medal of Honor, 27 Air Force crosses, and 188 Silver Star Award for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. These enlisted heroes serve to inspire all airmen to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. Armed with the knowledge of our past, the airmen will exit the Heroes Walk by marching over a blue line, signifying their accession into the greatest air power in the world. Musical support for this morning's ceremony has been provided by the 737th Training Group's Drum and Bugle Corps. From the 321st Training Squadron, performing today under the direction of Mass Sergeant Douglas Cox, hometown, Zillopo, Pennsylvania. These trainees are also in basic military training, but have been hand-selected to perform for ceremonies of this type. We would like for you to notice our national, state, and territorial flags. As these flags pass in review, please stand and render the appropriate courtesies for our national flag. Once the flags have passed in review, please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all guests the opportunity to view the flags as they pass in review. Sergeant G. 
Dina Scott, hometown, San Bernardino, California. From the 331st ranking squadron, representing the Air Force's first female chief mass sergeant, Peterson Flight, led by Staff Sergeant David Wallover, hometown, Lewis, California. First training squadron representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Number 13, Finch Flight, led by Staff Sergeant Genesis Aponte, hometown Queens, New York. From the 331st Training Squadron, representing a Medal of Honor recipient, Smith Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Stephen Barber, hometown. Piston, Pennsylvania. From the 322nd Training Squadron, representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Number 1, Airy Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Dominic Winsett, hometown, Marion, Indiana. The squadron selected as the color guard is from the 322nd Training Squad, led by Master Sergeant Sean Privet, hometown Green River, Wyoming. The flights selected to carry our national, state, and territorial flags are from the 321st Training Squad, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force Number 9, Vinegar Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Isaiah Smith, hometown. El Dorado, Kansas, and Technical Sergeant Jacque Isom, hometown, Gettysburg, Maryland. The B Squadron Commander is Technical Sergeant Jeremy Simmons, Military Training Instructor, 326 Training Squadron, hometown, Albuquerque, New Mexico. From the 322nd Training Squadron, Representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Ow. Number 18, Wright, Ow. led by Technical Sergeant Adam Rosenthal, hometown, Tampa, Florida. From the 322nd Training Squadron, representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Number 4, Barnes Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Luke Gilmore, hometown, the Met Falls, Oregon. From the 322nd Training Squadron, representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Number 5, Gaylor Flight, led by Technical Sergeant David Moore, hometown Richmond, Virginia. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Number 6, McCoy Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Spencer Colwibble, hometown Phoenix, Arizona. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Number 7, Andrews Flight, led by Technical Sergeant James Curtis, hometown Louisville, Kentucky. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force Number 8, Harris Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Andrew Lennox, hometown Jacksonville, Alabama. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force Number 10, Sphinx Sense Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Janelle. You can. Hometown, Brooklyn, New York.
ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the United States Air Force Hall. Yeah. 
try to figure out like it was a little more expensive than Harlem. It was a little ticked off because on Google's website the itinerary was like flipped from the one that Harlem was doing. So like we were two Thursdays at the end, which I was like excited about. But that was on their website, but we booked it. It was the same itinerary like two days or like what they'll do basically. Um it's the same as Harlem. We would like to take a moment to congratulate all of our squadron honor graduates, as well as their families. Basic military training honor graduates to distinguish themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all airmen graduating in their class. Be exceptional for professional dedication, integrity, service before self, and sustained excellence these airmen displayed throughout basic military training earned them this outstanding distinction. As the Airmen March forward for the oath of enlistment, we would like to thank the families and friends who are here in support of the Airmen graduating today. Your words of encouragement help motivate these Airmen through eight and a half weeks of basic military training. On behalf of the United States Air Force and Air Force Basic Military Training, we extend our thanks to the many families and friends of America's Airmen for the support of our airmen and the greatest air power the world has ever known. Chief Master Sergeant Hooper will now come forward and address our graduated air. On the press, what do you think? Hey, if I do it again, I just uh, thank you so much to our families. As, as an airman who wears stripes on his arm and who has stood on this parade field with a mother and two aunts in those bleachers, I can promise you that your presence here is an inspiration this morning. It's encouraging, it's energizing, and your continued presence and your continued uh, love and support these airmen will make such a big difference as they go on and serve in their Air Force career. So thank you again for coming. Welcome to our Air Force family. Why don't you give yourself a round of applause? Walked down this historic parade field with this iconic bomb run, and you have popped into the blue. Ten minutes from now, you will walk off this parade field and into the rest of your Air Force career. You will walk on to technical training where you will learn one of more than 100 Air Force best. Air Force specialty, technical skills that we require to serve our Air Force. And then you will walk on to your first duty station where we will ask you to use those skills to serve and support the defense of this nation. And then you will walk on throughout your Air Force career for as long as your heart desires. And I can tell you for many of you it will probably be longer than you would ever think possible. That journey is going to happen. That walk will take place. The question is, how are you going to walk? How are you going to take those steps? 
There are many ways you can do this. But if I could, before you go, I would encourage you to take steps in a certain way. I'll challenge you to always walk with a humble appreciation for the weight of our mission and the awesome responsibility put on your shoulders by a great foundation. Walk with a passion for development, to learn and to grow into who you are yet to become. And walk with a sense of pride, you know, that you're part of the best family, the best force the world has ever known. And know this, that as you go, I and every single person here will be cheering you on along the way. And we are absolutely proud of you. So go forth, do great things. The world is watching and waiting. Congratulations to you.
Make no mistake that you stepped off of this great field. You are being called to lead. And if you think that that starts the first time you're appointed as a supervisor, you are wrong. You are called to lead right from the jump. Because make, make no mistake, when it comes to leading, that is leading across, that is leading up, and that is leading down. And I will tell you, I know this because I look at our military training instructors, I look at our superintendents, I look at our, our staff, and I know that they lead me every single day. So make no mistake that you have an opportunity to lead those around you, those that have been entrusted with you. And so understand that your echo, your leadership, is a mandate as part of wearing the fabric of our nation. And as part of wearing the fabric of our nation, ah, make no mistake, you are called to be a warrior. As the Chief talked about earlier, you're going to refuel over a hundred different career fields for our Air Force. But I will tell you, regardless of the career field on how you've been called to serve within our Air Force, Every single one of you needs to have a warrior mindset because we are here to be able to take the fight whenever and wherever our nation needs us. We are an expeditionary Air Force and there are expeditionaries because we need to be able to fight to fight the enemy's backyard so we never need to fight it now. And we do that with warriors. And on that note, I've given you a charge. But now it's time to give you a question. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest Air Force? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that sounds like a yes. Instructor, place your place and attention. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand. Colonel Carruthers will now administer the oath of enlistment. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I state your name. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Aaron. Colonel Carruthers. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as our newest airmen recite the Airmen's Creed and remain in place for the departure of our official party. I am an American Airman. I am a warrior. I have answered my nation's call. I am an American Airman. My mission is to fly, fight, and win. I am faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. Thank you. Please be seated.